In the comic book world, sometimes heroes are forced to make sacrifices, you know, to save loved ones or just the world in general. They will do whatever it takes to protect the people they love. And that, my friends, is what we are going to talk about today. Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome to Top 10 Nerd. I'm your host, David Raff. And today, we are going to talk about the top 10 superheroes who sacrificed themselves. Now, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and remember to subscribe to Top 10 Nerds so you never miss one nerdy moment. Now, with all that being said, let's dive in. Number 10, Supergirl. During the comic Crisis on Infinite Earths, the Anti-Monitor was wiping out every Earth in the multiverse. At one point, there are only five Earths remaining, and the heroes from those Earths are trying to do whatever it takes to stop him. Superman decides to take on the Anti-Monitor one-on-one, but during this battle, Superman becomes severely injured. But before he is killed, someone comes in to help, and that's none other than his cousin Supergirl. She takes on the Anti-Monitor herself trying to save her cousin. And she manages to destroy one of his most powerful weapons, but ultimately ends up dying after the fight. If she didn't come in to help, Superman would have died. And not only did she save him, but she helped destroy one of the Anti-Monitor's most powerful weapons and paved the way for the heroes to win in the end. Number nine, Captain America. Everyone is very familiar with Captain America and knows just what kind of hero he is. So it should come as no surprise that he would be willing to sacrifice his own life to protect others. And in the film Captain America the First Avenger, that's exactly what he does. During the final battle, after he defeats the Red Skull, the plane they were fighting on is going to crash. But it also contains a ton of weapons that would do so much harm. In order to make sure that no one gets hurt, Steve has to land in the ice cold water below. This paves the way for a very emotional scene with Peggy, and both of them realizing that they will never get to have that dance together. Well, I mean, that is until then. Endgame. But regardless, Steve lands the plane in the water and becomes frozen in the ice where he would stay for almost 70 years, saving countless lives. Number eight, Jean Grey. The X-Men have had so many great stories over the years, but I think that a lot of people will agree that the Dark Phoenix saga is one of their best. And it contains one of the most emotional moments in X-Men history, the death of Jean Grey. Realizing that this was the only way to stop the Phoenix Force, Jean decides to take her own life in order to save everyone she loves. It was a massive moment for X-Men fans and had really big repercussions going forward. Now, there have been two films made about the story, but so far none have been able to really capture its magic. I mean, I wonder if the MCU will attempt it one day, but that will probably be a long ways off, especially since it's already been adapted twice. Number seven, Groot. And uh, this one still gets me so emotional. I mean, in the 2014 film, the world was introduced to the Guardians of the Galaxy. Everyone loved them. They were this dysfunctional group of anti-heroes who banded together and became a family, and they saved the world. But one of them didn't make it out of the first film, and that was Groot. Yes, he ended up returning, but James Gunn even revealed that it wasn't the same version of Groot. Near the end of the film, the Guardians are in Ronan's ship, which is about to crash, and all of them would likely die from the impact. But Groot takes it upon himself to shield his new family and take the bulk of the impact on himself. Rocket cries out asking why he would do this and he responds by saying, we are Groot. Oh man, yep, that still gets me every time. Groot died protecting his new family and they honor him by defeating Ronan. Number six, Superman. I think this is one of the most famous sacrifices on this list. Even non-comic fans know about this one. The death of Superman. It was the first time a hero of this caliber died in the comics, and it changed the comic world forever going forward. Doomsday, the most powerful villain they had faced up until that point, showed up and was wreaking havoc on the world. The Justice League was trying their best to stop him, but he seemed unbeatable. That is, until Superman arrived. The two of them had one of the most epic and brutal fights in DC history. Superman and Doomsday ended up killing each other, and the world couldn't believe that Superman had actually died. The event was so insanely popular that DC decided to eventually bring him back to life, which became a very controversial topic among fans, because after that, no one really ever stayed dead in the comic world. This story was adapted in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, where we saw Lex Luthor create Doomsday, from a corpse of General Zod. And then after, Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman all tried to take him down. But it was ultimately Superman who made the ultimate sacrifice to stop him. But, you know, he ends up coming back in the next film. Number five, The Flash. Now, 
The Flash has sacrificed himself a few times in both the comics and the TV show. The two biggest ones were actually for the same event, Crisis on Infinite Earths. In both the comic and TV show, he died stopping the antimatter cannon in just slightly different ways. In the comic, he ran so fast, the antimatter followed him and he disappeared while stopping it. And all that was left was his costume, which Wally West ended up using to honor him. In the TV show, it was revealed that the Flash from Earth-90 was being forced to run on the cosmic treadmill, which in turn was powering the antimatter cannon. But in the end, he made the ultimate sacrifice by running the opposite way, destroying the cannon, but also killing himself. He made the sacrifice to save the multiverse. And it turned out he was the Flash that was destined to vanish and not Earth-1, Barry, like we all thought. Number four, Spider-Man. Spider-Man has made plenty of sacrifices over the years, some small, some not so small. One of the biggest ones came from the Ultimate Universe. It was during a battle with his greatest nemesis, the Green Goblin. Peter died protecting Aunt May and Gwen Stacy, and then ended up dying while being held by his love, Mary Jane Watson. It was a massive moment, because no one ever expected Peter to actually die. This ended up paving the way for Miles Morales to become the new Spider-Man in that universe. I mean, the Ultimate Universe may have been kind of a mixed bag with fans, but it sure did take risks, and that's something that, you know, we all do really appreciate. Number three. Wolverine. In 2017, audiences around the world witnessed the end of Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, a part that he had been playing for almost 20 years. And oh man, it was truly heartbreaking to not only save Laura, also known as X-23 and one of his clones, but a whole bunch of mutant children. He made sure that they got over the border to have a better life. You see, Logan's healing factor wasn't what it used to be in the end. And during this film, we are introduced to a certain serum that can help boost someone's abilities. But if you take too much of it, it can really end up hurting you. When the children are being chased, Logan takes all of the serum, which temporarily does make him stronger and faster. And he ends up using it to save them. He even takes on his very powerful clone, X-24. But after the fight, his injuries were far too great and he wasn't able to recover and dies. But not before Laura calls him dad. The whole sequence was really, really well done. I mean, James Mangold crafted a perfect end to Logan's story. They even end up burying him and put a cross, but Laura ends up changing the position of it to an X. Like, how perfect is that? Ugh. Number two, Green Arrow. At the end of 2019 and the beginning of 2020, the Arrowverse finally brought us the crisis it had been teasing for six years, Crisis on Infinite Earths. And it was during that crisis that Oliver Queen died not once, but twice to protect the multiverse. The first time, he died fighting shadow demons and saved over a billion lives. The first time, he died fighting shadow demons and saved over a billion lives that were trying to escape from Earth 38. The second, he sacrificed himself while fighting the Anti-Monitor and rebooted the entire multiverse, saving trillions and trillions of lives. It was a fitting end for Oliver Queen and completed his journey perfectly. He truly became something else and made sure that not only his world was safe, but all worlds. It truly became an Arrowverse and I couldn't think of a better ending for him. He will be deeply missed, but who knows, maybe one day he can pop up again somehow in the future. I mean, there is a multiverse, right? Number one, Iron Man. Ah, Tony. Like every other person on this list, this sacrifice was heartbreaking. In Avengers Endgame, Tony Stark made the ultimate sacrifice to defeat Thanos. He took on the power of the Infinity Stones to wipe out Thanos and his army from existence, but in doing so, lost his life. The stones are very powerful, and even the strongest beings in the universe have trouble harnessing their power. I mean, the Hulk could barely do it, and Thanos got severely injured from using them. So the fact that Tony was able to do it was incredible, but alas, he was not able to survive it. He made the sacrifice so that everyone else could live, and that his family would be safe. One of the most heartbreaking scenes was his goodbye video to Morgan, and the fact that she would never see him again. But he made sure that she was safe, and he knew the world was in good hands even if he was gone. And that, my friends, that is truly a hero. All right, there you have it, guys. The top 10 superheroes who sacrifice themselves. What does your list look like? Let us know down in those comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And remember to subscribe to Top 10 Nerds so you always know whenever we post a new nerdy video just like this one. I'm your host, David Raff, and thank you so much for watching.